Hello friends, today I'm excited to share a new video about Shaker AI. It's a premium community for stable diffusion models, featuring a curated selection of thousands of high-quality SD models from around the globe. Unlike Civitai, Shaker AI provides advanced AI tools for generating and editing images. Plus, you'll find unique models here that you won't find on Civitai. Additionally, you can now upload and download SD3 models with Shaker AI, a feature not available on Civitai. In my previous video, we covered the basics of Shaker AI. But today, we're going to dive deeper and explore even more updated features. So let's see what we'll be learning about today. Okay, after creating an account, you'll see this interface where you can find thousands of models. And I'll recommend three models that you can use to generate beautiful images with their tools. I'll also showcase how to use their amazing updated tools with these models. But remember, it's not limited to just these. There are many amazing models you should try. Okay, let's start with the AW Painting model. It's an amazing model for generating anime images with incredible styles and variations. So let's give it a try. All right, you can search for the model by typing its name here. After that, click on the model. Then you can either click Run Model to open the workflow with the model or click AI Generator to access the workflow. Now you can type a prompt to generate your image. I've already prepared a prompt to showcase how it works. So I'll copy and paste my prompt here. You can also type a negative prompt or leave it empty. After that, you can set other parameters like the sampler method and image size if you want. Then click Generate to see your amazing result. Wow, what a wonderful image. It's exactly what I imagined. So guys, you can also see many other options here like add-ons and image reference. Let's try the image reference option. To do that, click here and upload an image. Then you'll see the reference dimensions options. I'll select Pose from here to generate an image with a similar pose to the one I uploaded. Okay, let's click Generate and see the result. Perfect, that's exactly the same pose. I hope you learned how to use this feature. Now, let's move on to the next model, Magic Mix. This is the second model I recommend. This model can generate realistic images. So let's give it a try. Okay, here I'm going to change the base model to Magic Mix. Then I'll paste a prompt and click Generate to see the result. With this prompt, I'm going to generate an image of a girl in a white dress. Let's see. Great, let's try generating more images using different sampler methods. Wow. Now it's time to try it with adding a Laura model. So I'm going to generate an image that looks like Lisa from Blackpink by adding a Laura model from here. Wow, that's quite similar to Lisa. So guys, I hope you now understand how you can use Laura for generating images as well. Okay, let's try the next model. IP design. This model mostly generates images that look like they're in a 3D style. Let's try it by generating some images. With my prompt, I'm going to generate an image of a polar bear with a coffee cup. Let's see the result. Amazing. Now, I hope you guys have learned the uses of different models and its variations. I recommend you try other models too because Shaker AI has many unique ones. So let's try the InPaint tool. It's a very useful tool for changing parts of an existing image like an object or a selected area. Let's see how to use it. First, you need to select an image from the canvas or upload it here. Then click on the InPaint tool and wait a few seconds for your image to be analyzed. After that, you'll be able to select the section that you wish to change. In my image, I'll select the jeans and type a prompt to change its color to black. And remember, the creativity option is very important. A higher value means the prompt will have a more significant effect on your image. I recommend keeping it between 65 and 70. I also selected the Magic Mix model because the uploaded image looks realistic. Okay guys, now you can see the jeans have turned black. Select your preferred one and click Send to Canvas. Great, let's try changing the hair color to red and see the result.
Wow. It's an amazing result, right? So friends, I hope you now have a good idea of how the InPaint tool works and how to use Shaker AI models. I recommend you try it yourself. Also, if you want to learn more about the basics of Shaker AI, please check my previous video. So friends, it's time to go. But before I leave, I want to mention Shaker AI's subscription. If you're a designer or using AI professionally, the free membership might not be enough. There's an offer and compared to Midjourney, Shaker AI offers very affordable pricing. So guys, I'll be back with a new video soon. See you next time. Bye.